Queen's Landing. Original fine art collection at Queen's Landing Hotel. After the refurbishment of Tiara Restaurant and the Bacchus Lounge in 2011, the hotel continued its renewal through the acquisition of original fine art for the Grand Hallway, Tiara Restaurant, the Lobby Area, and the Bacchus Lounge. The collection of contemporary paintings is beautifully displayed against the historic Georgian architectural features, such as classically patterned marble floors, a grand staircase, and stained glass ceilings. When visitors enter through the front doors, they are greeted by a stunning, watery three-panel painting titled Desire to Feel the Moisture of Moss by artist Danielle Rochon. It is paired with a lively bumblebee painting that is the perfect backdrop to the baby grand piano. At the check-in area, guests will enjoy the colorful foliage, quaint houses, and lake views found in two charming paintings by Jean Ducoq called Pritain et l'Amoué et Bratain aux sonorites colorées matin. His work is reminiscent of the Impressionists and inspired by Brittany, France's most rugged region, characterized by a fascinating mix of spectacular coastline, ancient towns, magical islands, and inland woods. When traveling to the Tiara, guests will surely be captivated by the wine country-inspired painting they encounter along the way by artist Pierre Pivet, titled Les Vendanges, that depicts wine growers harvesting a ripe crop of grapes. The playful shapes and non-organic color draw the viewer into this delightful scene, which so effectively captures the spirit of the wine industry prominent in the Niagara region. The wine country theme is carried into the entry of the tiara, where Rick Bond's eye-catching vines of Chardonnay makes a striking impression via its portrayal of row upon row of vibrant green grapes. The big showstopper painting in Tiara Restaurant is called Through the Branches of Kalamalka, another of artist Rick Bond's pieces. This powerful landscape could be representative of many parts of the country and is inspired by the Kalamalka Lake region, found in the interior plateau of southern central British Columbia. At different times of the year, the color of this lake can range from cyan to indigo in different spots at the same time. The color in the water is derived from light scattering caused by the precipitation of calcite. This painting is joined by a series of gestural floral works by Gerda Marshall, illustrating a perpetual garden in bloom, rounding out these perfect accompaniments to the dining experience. On to the Bacchus Lounge, where guests will enjoy the fanciful French painting titled Saints by the celebrated artist Jean-Claude Roy. Roy lives half the year in France and the other half in Newfoundland, and both regions are featured in his paintings. He paints everything on sight, so for him a typical day entails setting out with knapsack, canvas, and easel in hand. His book entitled Fluctuat Nek Megita is currently the number one art book on Amazon and chronicles paintings from every community in Newfoundland. Heading back to the main lounge, from a long sightline down the grand hallway, guests will see Jardin de Pavot, another stunning painting by Danielle Rochon. It is the most abstracted painting in the hotel's collection, with wild brushwork that has a timeless feeling, fitting for the architecture of the hotel. We hope you will join us to experience for yourself this wonderful fine original art collection at Queen's Landing Hotel.